The 2012 World Snooker Championships is almost upon us and Barry Hearn has promised us the best one ever. Let's hope the World Snooker Supremo is right with that comment. We'll start with the champion Ronnie O'Sullivan who's first up on the Crucible stage on Saturday morning. He faces Finnish player Rob Hull who's making his second appearance in the World Championships 12 years after his debut. Rob Hull, not Rod and his bird. I shall ostracise the graphics department for that foul. Anyway, though the Finnish player actually led the Rocket by three frames to one in a PTC event last November before eventually losing 4-3, it's very hard to make a case for him against the defending champ in the Crucible Cauldron. So a speculative punt on a 10-2 win for Ronnie O'Sullivan at 11-2 for me in that one. Also at 10am sharp on Saturday morning, we've got Stuart Bingham up against the 97 world champ, Ken Doherty. The Irishman will no doubt be playing tough and won't go down without a fight. But uh, Bingham, who still seems to be improving with age, will surely have too much for the ex-champ. And I'm happy to back the Basildon ball run to win by 10-6 or better with Boyle Sports, I think, on the handicaps market and there is a shade of odds on to do that. Saturday afternoon's offering is the 2005 world champion Sean Murphy up against Jamie Shotgun Cope. The magician has uh, recently won the world open in China, finding some form, whilst Jamie Cope has slipped down the rankings with some rather lame efforts this season. So I'm going to take a chance that Murphy will win this easily and we'll be going for either a 10-3 at 9-1 or a 10-4 at 7-1 win in favour of the number 9 seed in that. Now Stephen Maguire faces Ryan Day in the swashbuckling fourth quarter and I can see that game going all the way. Day's had a decent season and I'm going to speculate that this one's going to go the distance 10-9 to either player combined odds of around 4-1 for that one. Moving on to Ali Carter versus Zhao Guaodong and uh, I'm expecting a really good showing from the Chinese 25 year old who reached the final of the Shanghai Masters earlier this season losing 10-6 to Ding in that match and he also reached the quarter final in the German Masters Ali Carter has proved to be a real tough nut to crack in this tournament in recent times twice finishing runner up to Ronnie O'Sullivan but I think he's been the unluckiest of the seeds with regards to the draw this year paired with the talented Zhao and I'll be back in the uh, rising Chinese player to uh, win that match at odds of 13 to 8. On Sunday, Joe Perry starts his campaign against Scotland's Jamie Burnett. A 10-4 or 10-5 victory for the Englishman is the call here for me. Quite straightforward. Uh, that's a com combined price of about 7-2. Finally, this season's record equaling five-time ranking event winner Ding Junhui takes on debutant Michael Wesley and the Chinese player's last three first round wins here he has been beaten this first round in the last four years resulting in three wide margin victories so I know we're worth speculating here that he's going to win either 10-1 at 16-1 or 10-2 at 17-2 now the outright markets I can't see past Rocket Ronnie so we'll have a maximum 10 point bet on him winning it at 7-5 in the bottom half we're going to go for two players that are in the same quarter a bit ridiculous I know but they're big prices Stuart being at 40-1 to we'll have an each way punt on him and Zhao Guadong at 100 to 1. It's a wide open section of draw, and I think any one of six players could get through from that. And we'll have a nice little punt going into the semi finals should one of those two players make it there. Enjoy the snooker, and hopefully, I will have found a few winners for you there. <laughs>